EV Comply. Simplifying your charge point installations. Hello and welcome to the very first of a brand new weekly podcast. Brought to you directly from EV Comply. Bringing you a quick roundup of all the weekly headline news from the EV industry. So they say, before there was electricity, there were torch moments. And ironically, this company has managed to combine the two. Yourparkingspace.co.uk is an online marketplace that markets and manages over 65,000 parking locations UK-wide. Now, it's launched together with Atlas Hotels to create a pre-bookable charge points pilot. That is a mouthful. Now, the idea is to offer bookable charging points alongside parking so the customer will be secure that once they arrive at the destination, they will be able to recharge. Now, over the next 12 months, 250 charge points will be installed at properties operated by Atlas Hotels, who are the largest franchisee of the Holiday and Express Hotels in the UK. Now, continuing the theme of innovative ideas, Volkswagen have embraced a very interesting marketing campaign using electric drones to showcase their electric cars. I know, genius. Now, according to Volkswagen, they sent 2,000 drones up into the Chinese skies of Shenzhen to create an image of the ID4 electric car. Now, the first image that appeared was in fact the Volkswagen logo to then go on to fly the ID4 that they created in drone across the crowds to then end with a message in the sky that promised e-mobility for everyone. A very good way to capture everyone's imagination. Now onto the electric movement and boy is there a movement. According to the DFT, the Department for Transport, the UK's electric vehicle charging network grew by almost a fifth in the first nine months of 2020. There are now around 19,500 electric vehicle charging points in the UK and more than 3,500 of those are rapid devices. So, no matter what your political view, if you're in the EV game, you'll be pleased to hear that President-elect Joe Biden has proposed a two trillion climate agenda that includes provisions with climate priorities in transportation infrastructure, spending to reboot cash for clunkers in the interest of modernizing the fleet towards cleaner vehicles. If you love Bentley, you are going to love this. Bentley plans to make its entire lineup plug-in hybrid or all-electric by 2026, so not long to wait. And they're going to switch entirely to battery electric vehicles by 2030. Now, the electrification push is part of Bentley's plan to become end-to-end carbon neutral by 2030, and we reckon they'll do it. So out with the old and in with the new. Dutch train stations are getting a makeover that includes replacing their old ashtray posts with new electric bicycle charging posts. I'm not sure how the smokers feel about that, but here at EV Comply, we think it's a brilliant idea. I'm guessing you've heard the UK has announced plans to move up ban on ICE cars to 2030. Now, Britain's ban on the sales of gasoline and diesel cars will be moved up to 2030, confirmed, as part of a strategy to get to net zero carbon emissions by 2050. So the EV revolution is happening and it's happening fast. Now, classic car lovers, that might not be music to your ears, but this will. British firm Swindon Powertrain has developed an electric conversion kit for the classic Mini, hopefully to be rolled out across all classic cars. Now, it's available to order now and scheduled to ship in December. The kit includes one of Swindon's own electric motors with peak output of 160 horsepower. On Thursday, Porsche revealed a handful of previously secret secret concept cars, including a fresh-looking electric van, set to be featured alongside other concepts in the upcoming book Porsche Unseen. Apparently, the concept was completed in 2018, but never shown to the public before. So whilst Porsche have tried to keep things hush, Hyundai have done the opposite. They have been shouting this week about the fact they are developing a walking car, focusing on ultimate mobility vehicles. Dr. John Schur, Hyundai's VP, will lead the new studio and explains it really quite simply. He says, we aim to create the world's first transformer class vehicle. It literally is a robot in disguise. Thank you so much for that, John. (laughs) We cannot wait. Now, the first car to be developed by Hyundai was shown at last year's consumer electric show, the Elevate. Now, the vehicle does not rely solely on wheels and is expected to address challenging driving situations where you may need to walk. And to round things off, Tesla goes on a crazy hiring spree. It adds a thousand sales and delivery people in two months. The automaker also changed its strategy and focused on hiring part-time employees. 
So that's all from me and your latest EV roundup from everyone here at EV Comply. Have a top day and thank you for listening. You can catch this and all future podcasts directly on our website, ev-comply.com. And if you'd like to submit a story or content, then please email podcast at ev-comply.com. Thank <laughs> you.